thank you gentlemen for coming to my house to trade Lego. I have to go grab our final guest and then the trading can commence. Why are we at Evan's house? You know I don't like him. I know, Billy. Neither do I. But he's rich, so he has a lot of good Lego sets. And he's dumb, so we can trick him into giving us the good stuff. Specifically, that. <laughs> ah, I see. Hey, who do you think his special guest is? I thought he said it was just going to be the three of us. Probably his brother, Kevin. I mean, he doesn't really have many other friends. Oh, I hope it's Kevin. He's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest, Ned. Salutations, classmates. I took a brief break from studying so that I could play with you guys. <laughs> Oh no, not Ned. He's so annoying. You are aware that I can hear you, correct? Let's just get down to trading, okay? Everyone take out your first minifigure that you want to trade. I brought a Stormtrooper. I brought a rare Blue Milk Luke Skywalker. I have an ultra rare limited edition gold C-3PO. One of 10,000. Whoa. Whoa! I have the Joker! Ned, that's not even a Lego minifigure. That looks like a McDonald's toy. Oh yes, that's because it is. But that's against the rules! Billy, Ned can bring whatever he wants. No one's gonna trade him for that. I'd like to make a trade. Ned, I want your Joker. I'll give you this and $500. Sure, Evan. I guess I'll make that trade. What? But what about my Stormtrooper? Nope. I like evil things, and that right there is super evil. Okay. I guess it's time for us to trade something else now. I brought Baby Yoda. Wait, we were supposed to bring other stuff? I will trade this Republic gunship. I only have my Stormtrooper. Oh, man. Well, I brought this DVD of Ghostbusters. Ned! You know I love Ghostbusters! I'll trade you this for that. Wow, I'm really good at this. Thanks! Ugh! Evan, I'm hungry. Can you go get us a snack? Now? But we're in the middle of trading! Fine, then I'll just leave and take my valuable items with me. No! Please don't leave! Okay, I'll be right back. Ned, why don't you go with him? But I don't want to! Do it! Or else I'll tell our teacher that you were here at Evan's house instead of home studying this weekend. Oh no, please don't do that. Okay, I'm going. Why did you tell them to leave? Because I need to come up with a way to trick Evan into giving me the Millennium Falcon. I don't have much to trade and he's too stupid to realize that Ned's stuff is junk. Ned's gonna walk out of here with the Falcon instead of me. Well, what could you possibly trade him that he doesn't already have? Wait a second. What if I just took something that he did already have and then tricked him into thinking that he didn't already have it? Uh, I'm confused. I just need to take something that he already has and then trick him into thinking that he doesn't have it. Oh, that sounds mean. But it will work. Now, what do I take? I got it. I'm back. I know you said you were hungry, so I got you a water bottle. I still don't know why I went with him. Thanks, Evan. Let's do our final trade of the evening. Everyone take out what you're willing to trade. I brought a book. I brought the Lego Death Star. I still only have this Stormtrooper. I brought something truly special this evening. Whoa! I have a magical puma that looks just like that. That must be his identical twin brother. Wow, what are the odds of that? I'll trade you this Lego Death Star for him. No, I was thinking of something else. Oh dear, that's one of my most prized possessions. But Evan, this is your cat's identical twin. Don't you want him? Oh, you're right. Ned, what do I do? I think you already know what you have to do. 
Well, boys, I had a great night, but I gotta be heading home. Evan, great job. You really got me this time. <laughs> See ya. Hello, little one. You are gonna be so happy when you see that I own your identical twin brother. Now, where is he? Oh dear me, it's getting late. I desperately have to go home and study right now. Wait, so no one wants to trade for my stormtrooper?